And we really got to understand. Hey, that pride could have you saying some off things. Let's examine 1 John 1 through 8, man. Let's, let's examine this. Let's examine this scripture, man, and see what pride, how pride had you out here, bro. Hey, listen, man, what this thing say? If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. Wow. And the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, hold on, man. If we confess our sins, that I got to, man, that, that, that last line, man. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, man. Because a haughty spirit, because that haughty spirit, man, that pride going to have you deceived, man. Listen, man, we was made under the most high God, man, and subject to sin till we get to the, hey, man, you either going to accept this thing or not, man. Now, it don't say that, all right, what it say? The righteous man fall seven times, but he get back up, man, and the wicked fall to their demise, to their destruction, man. So, hey, Job was perfect. Before the most high God, but it didn't mean that he never sinned in his life. What? It never, it don't mean that he never ever sinned. It means that when he sinned, he repented and got right with the Lord. Why? Because if we believe, man, if we say in our hearts, man, if we say, if we believe and say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, man. You believe the lie. And the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. And that's the truth, man. That's the truth, the life and the way, man. Not only is that the truth, that's the life and the way, man. Now, it don't mean that you just accept sin. He said, listen, he said, go and sin no more. Repentance and the baptism is the renewing of your mind. You know, and the washing of the word. You know, there is a way that seemed right unto a man at a time, but then you 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 put down those things that you thought was right and you became wise. You were enlightened by the wisdom of the most high God that 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 the spirit of the most high God that told you that these things is life, man. Hey, what did they say? A hard head make a soft ass, man. You know? A lot of people walking with God, man. But they but they rebelling against God. They say they love God, but they rebelling against God. And they making life harder, man. I was talking to my brother. I said, man, the only difference with this thing right here is when you raise up a child in a way, instead of them getting lessons that in, the, in their later years, they're going to be receiving blessings. We plant the seeds, but the most high grant the increase, man. This is all spirit, man. Listen. It's incredible, man, because they got the, hey, listen, man, and what are we doing this for? How do we, di how do we, hey, because if we say we don't got sin, man, you know, we deceiving ourselves. So we need to be humble as babes, man, when we out here teaching this word, because what is it all about, man? It's for salvation. The same hope that we preaching is the same hope we, we hoping in for the salvation and for this crown of rulership, man, and to be with the most high God, man. What? To be with the king, man. We want to be with the king, man. This place is filthy. It's dirty. It's whack. It's bugging. It's off. It's out of order. Come on, man. It's a freak show right now out here, man. Why? We want to be with God and not against him. Like everybody not in the light. Why? Because if they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light. Man, hold on, bro. Let's deal with it, man. Because listen, man, this is the heaviness of what we're dealing with, man. Putting it all together, man. I mean, the Most High really got the brothers out here on fire. Sisters is coming back to repentance. I'm seeing the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life, man. In my whole entire life, man. Isaiah 8 and 20, man. Raising up the babes in this truth is the blessing, man. This is going to be crazy. This thing is not even given to us. Hey, hear this, man. This thing is not even given to us. It's given to the children and the babes, bro. Here we go. And when they shall say unto you, seek 
unto them that have familiar spirits and unto wizards that peep. Hey, yo, they see it, bro. They be peeping, bro. They, they, they got the eye to see, bro. They got the eye of Horus, God. Hey, watch this. This is what these people out here talking about nowadays because they've been hurt by this fake religion going on out here because it don't make no sense. And the power is really not in it. All right, let's deal with it, man. Seek ye unto them. Hey, this is what the people of today going to say when they get hurt, man. And this is what they saying because a lot of our people going into this wizardry that's, that's being written in right here, this wizardry. Hey, go unto the wizards. Hey, and that mutter should not a people seek unto their God. Hey, we're going to read that again, man. I murdered that. Hold on. <laughs> I murdered that. So like you. And when they shall say unto you, seek unto them that have familiar spirits and unto wizards that peep. What? And that mutter should not a people seek unto their God. Wow. For the living, for the living to the dead, to the law and the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Hey, man, so this right here is getting heavy, man. That's heavy, man. Should not a people seek unto their God for the living to the dead? Hey, man. Because the most high maketh alive and he uh he giveth and he taketh away. He he maketh alive and he and he taketh life, man. The most high do these things, man. So for the living or the dead, should we not go to the most high God? What are you guys doing dealing with these wizards, man? The most high tell you in the last days, man, y'all gonna go. I'm gonna send y'all right back to them same wizards and seers and see if they can save you from this torment that's coming. Hey, you can look that scripture up. He tell you, man, you go seek for your seers and your wizards in the last days and your, and all your Baphomet statues and see if they deliver you from what I'm finna bring on the earth. And that's what this is really going into. Hey, man. Hey, if they speak not according to the law and the testimony of the most high God, the prophets and to the people, the chosen, man, it's because there's no light in them. If they talking some other gospel that's not backed up in this Bible, it's because there's no light in them. You know, these words I speak are not my own, man. These are the words of the, this. These are the words that ye have heard from the beginning, man. And they're not going to change because God is the same forever. The things that are the things that shall be. And there are no new things under the sun, man. You got to understand this. It's so heavy, man. And what we really doing this for, family, salvation and rulership. So when we talk to our people out here, it's, it's very important that we remain humble as babes, understanding that the Most High has given us the eye to see and the ear to hear, the words to speak. He came to me and gave me the message, and I'm trying to bring it out to the best of my ability, family. Bear with me. I know this thing is uh, running slow and long, man, but I hope it's making some sense and feeding someone out there, man. I hope that this is edifying, man, to somebody. I just pray that somebody is getting some type of uh, revelation from this, man. You know, it's some food, some fruit, <clears throat> some sincere milk, you know, through obedience, man, through obedience, we receive the gifts, man. Let's start dealing with some more scriptures, man, because what are we teaching this for? What is this about, man? We're going to really go into it, man. Bear with me. This is going to be a freestyle through the spirit, man, because I got a lot of precepts here, man. First, we're going to deal with it, man. We want to we want to offend less in Ecclesiastes, man. So this time we're going to hit this book right here. This is the book of the Apographer. This is the book of the Apographer. This is an authorized King James Version. You guys look up the 1611 King James Bible. These books were in there and taken out. So when you go into the whole controversy, oh, man, I can't believe in the book, bro, because some books, they took some stuff up out of there. How am I going to believe on it? Well, guess what? The Most High revealed it in the time of Revelations that we in, bro. And guess what? We got it. Bang, bang. What you talking about, man? What is you talking about? I wake up. You gonna do it or not? We're not playing no games. The prophets ain't here to play no games, man. And, and, and play with your ego and tell you soft words, man. You know, this is brotherly love, like we talking about, brother. And listen, you gotta do these things because a vengeance is coming from the most high God. You see how we getting killed down in the streets? The only way to protect your family is to do these words, man. Because we put here by divine forces and we are divine people, and we only gonna be taken out of this place by the same divine power, man. And we are that power. You hear that? The Most High God named us, gave us a name as a nation of people. Israel, you're no longer Jacob. Jacob and Esau is over. 
I chose Israel, the 12 tribes. Y'all gonna understand that thing, man. It ain't no more Jacob and Esau. Y'all the only ones who still Esau. We are Israel now. We are Yasharala. I don't know what's going on, pal. Y'all don't know what's going on, God, but guess what? You're gonna recognize when we confound you in these last days. You're gonna recognize when you talk to us and we got the power and the juice. And we know what we serve and worship and you know not. But let's read Ecclesiasticus. Sorry about all that rhetoric. Ecclesiasticus. This is chapter 17, and we're going to start at verse 24. But unto them that repent, the law was given to Israel. They have the, uh, the choice to repent because the law was given to them. He granted them return and comforted those that failed in patience. Oh, my. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Forget your way. Forget what you thought. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. So when we turn from sin, it didn't say that we was never going to offend. But as long as we are striving for the kingdom, we are going to offend less. Turn again to the Most High, 26 reads. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity. Hey, when we start raising up and training up in the way, man, we're going to be stronger and we're going to flee. We are going to flee, man, from sin. We're going to run from wicked people. We're going to run from the abominations of this place and run into the arms of the Most High God doing what he said. Hold on. For he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health and hate thou abomination vehemently. Hey, listen, man, if you turn from the sin, he going to be there, man, and lead you out of the darkness, man, into the light. And he going to destroy that abomination, man, and the sin that you got. If you turn away from that thing, you don't have to be destroyed with it. Who shall praise the most high in the grave instead of them which live and give thanks? Now, again, the most high, hey, what that last scripture said, the dead and the alive, man. Who you going to pray for, for the dead and alive? This one says, who shall praise the most high in the grave instead of them which live and give thanks? So you're going to end up dead. You're going to be in the grave and you can't give no praises in the grave because you're dead, king. What that scripture say? It is better. It is better for a, a dog that is alive than a lion that's dead. All right, king, we are the princes of the power. But if we don't do what he say, this name has no power. We just niggas again. We all these bywords and proverbs that were put on us when we were taken cap captive by this force who was as swift as the eagle flieth. <laughs> Gosh damn American bald eagle, man. These people from Rome to damn um from Rome to damn America, man. They are they in love with this damn bald eagle. You can't make it up, King. So listen, man, we need to get back. We want to be with the king. It's that, that, it's that simple, man. We want to be with the king. And the way to doing that is what Ecclesiasticus or Syrac 17 and 24 through 27 was talking about, man. Turning away from sin, repenting, coming back to the Lord, believing on the son of Christ, having charity. Because if we keep the commandments and we got the faith in Christ, we nothing without charity. Hey, putting it all together, man. Ephesians, man. Putting on the full body armor, man. Now the spirit taking over. We freestyling, man. Hey, listen. Let's go to Revelations 22 and 14, man, if we can, family. Because this is getting heavy, man. I'm finna find it here, man. The spirit on me, bro. I'm finna find it in here, bro. 22 and 14, bro. I'm hot right now, bro. The most high got me on fire, bro. Like, I can't take it anymore, bro. What are we doing? What was the verse? Hey, bro. And 14, God. Hey, man, I pulled this same one last time I was doing a video. I love, I can always pull this one. It's an easy one for me to pull, God. But that's it, man. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers. Hey, these same witches, man, and whoremongers. These are pimps and players. Lusting up all the women and the females who lusting up on men. Whoremongers, man. They got some madams who be running whole houses. 
Hey, man, you got to understand these whoremongers, man, and murderers. Hey, man, you always killing some dang body. It's that spirit of murder. You got to, you hate your brother in your heart. You hate a man that's walking. You want to murder a man. Yeah, you want his blood. Hey, man, you guys are satanic and going to get put down with impunity, man, and extreme prejudice for the wickedness that you do on the earth, man. Idolaters, all those who trying to find another way, telling you burn sage up in your house, this, that, and the third, and that witchcraft, bro. It's not happening. And who else, whosoever, sorry, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. There you go, man. Y'all love these lies that's going on in the world. Y'all do not want to come out of the folly. Y'all know that it's all type of wickedness going on here, but y'all will not come out of it. Y'all love it. Y'all let her talk about it all damn day. You see somebody get smacked in their face on the bus and you laughing right there giggling because you like foolishness. Yeah, man, we know y'all spirit, man. You little, little deviants running around, man. We know y'all spirit, man. We know y'all and we see y'all in the last day. And furthermore, the most high see y'all in the last day, man. Come out of that thing, man. Turn away from your sin, man. And what he say he going to do if you do that, man. Because listen, why are you turning away, man? Let's deal with Psalms 91, man. Why are you turning away? Because y'all really don't get this. What's the whole reason of keeping the commandments? What? Because listen, you out here having immoral sexual activity, you're going to get AIDS and die. And, and you know where. Because that thing was first created for a certain people out here living a certain lifestyle that's not right according to the Most High God. That's why he put that thing out here. All right. Lewd sexual activities and sexual diseases go hand in hand, player. <laughs> so like you for the folly, man. But the most high is telling you slick, you slick cats out there to think you're going to get away with that lust, man. Yeah, man. All right. So this is what we trying to get right for, family. And, and really hear me on this one, man. Listen, I hope that the words of the Lord is speaking to you and not my voice, man. I really do pray that thing, man. That's why I do not do no facial shots or no, per because it's not about me, man. We're going to give you personal testimony. We're going to give you scriptures and we're going to give you reality. What's going on out here in these streets, man, in hopes that you will do the things written, see the truth that's going on, see the reality of the situation. <laughs> Juneteenth is coming up. We were not emancipated. We are still Man, anyway, we're going to deal with all of these things to come up. I love my people, man, but we will not be uh, deceived and watered down out here. I'm not cooning. I'm not trying to coon by ya, man. I'm not trying to coon by ya. Anyway, sorry, man. I'll be going off, man. I'll be going off. I need a brother here to keep me and reel me in, man, because I'll be going off on tangents, man. <laughs> so lock you for that. And a thousand shall fall. So lock you. Let's get that right back. And a thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand. Come on, man. The most high is going to kill a thousand, man. There's going to be people falling, man, in these last days. When this judgment really start coming, when it really start getting wicked and Matthew and Matthew really start. Hey, we're going to hit that next. Matthew 24 really start hitting in six. The beginning of sorrows, man. When these things really start hitting and man is delivered up into the hand of their neighbor. Yeah, man, in that day, it's going to be real, man. And only the, uh, the man, come on, man. Only the angels of the Lord are going to save you in that day, man. All right. Only the uh, the angels are going to make a way for you to, to, to get through, man. Okay? Only you preparing, seeing what time it was and stacking up your grains is going to be the thing that maintains you, man. All right, man. To the best of your ability, because at the end of the day, it's still going to be predicated upon the Lord's work, man. He going to save who he going to save and he going to destroy who he going to destroy, man. And that's all it. And when we preach this gospel as babes, we got that same hope. We got that same hope, man. But you need to understand that the, the, the reason why we out here with such veracity is because the time is nine, man. And soon you're going to start seeing this, man. You're going to start seeing it. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand. But it shall not come nine thee. Hey, it's not going to come on you. Why? Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Hey, listen, I pray that thing. This is the patience of the saints. I pray to see the vengeance of the Lord come up on all you wicked who destroyed my people and call us all type of proverbs when we done created every damn thing and built this place up. 
Your reparations will not be enough. The Most High wants it in blood. Because thou has made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee. Hey, ain't nothing going to happen to you, God. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Hey, ain't no plague going to get you in these last days. That's for your coronas and your AIDS. Because we doing what God said and we staying out the damn way. They opening up everything at full capacity during the summer. And you know that diseases thrive during the summertime. But you got these vaccines that's not guaranteed. Man, come on, man. Anyway, if you can't see it, I don't know what to say, baby. Listen. <laughs> Neither shall any plague come nigh in thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Hey, the angels ain't going to let you go, and they're going to mark on your head the name of the Most High God, and you're going to be straight. And you're going to be walking to the store to go get your stuff, and you're going to see people dying at your left and your right, like Psalms 91 say, man. Listen, you're going to see thousands, but ain't nothing going to happen to you because the angels, he going to give his angels the charge. He said, man, where one or two are in there in my name, I am there, man. And the eyes of the Lord are everywhere beholding the ways of men. They are the angels, man. Yeah, man. The angels see the Lord's face to face. The Lord's face to face, man. And they tell what you're doing, man. And that's how we good in this last day. I believe that, man. I done been through so many things, man. I can't even give y'all the testimony right now, man. Because I will not uh, talk about the stuff I was doing <laughs> when I was out there in, the, in my flesh, family. I won't go back. But the Most High preserved me and kept me and got me through that. And this is true, family. This is the only way I made it through the streets of South Central LA, the war zone. Grew up in the 60s off Slauson and Crenshaw, nigga. Hey, real talk. Hey, let's get back to it, though. Salakia for the hood. Hey. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Lest you mess your own self up. They gonna hold you and keep you in the way, man. The most high got you. Y'all really gotta understand that, man. These scriptures is real, man. You seeing it happening, man. Hey, because of inordinate affection, the love have many of many have waxed cold, as Matthew 24 say. Man, let's find it in Luke, man. Let's go back into it, man, because Luke going to tell you about this, man. What we supposed to be doing, man, and why we carrying ourselves in this light that we carrying ourselves in, man, with brotherly love, man. Hey, 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 and charity, man. And faith in Christ, man. Prophesied it, man. You know? Dreaming dreams, man, as promised. Okay, so this is Luke 21, 9. It's talking about the destruction. It says, when these things start happening, you start seeing thousands dying at your left and your right, man. What's happening? But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass. But the end is not yet. So listen, man, y'all stand strong in faith when you see these things because you got to understand a thousand people dying at your left and right. It must come to pass. When you realize that, man, that these things must come to pass, man, this is going to help you. And when you read this book and you see everything that it says, when you see that it's alive in the streets that you walk in today, in the people and in the spirit of men. When you look at the spirit of men today and you see revelations before your eyes, he said, don't be afraid. He said, don't be afraid, man. Because as, as far as this, this destruction, I gave you a way, man, to do the commandment so you can enter into the gate, man. And we living on the promise. Listen, we also know about the promise of the destruction that's coming, but we living on a promise of hope and salvation, man. Because that's why we out here telling our brothers and sisters to repent and come back to the Lord and that they the Hebrews. And that's why the Most High gave us this information because the great and terrible day of the Lord is at hand. And that's why he cranking up the pestilence on the earth and the diseases. And that's why he cranking up the hate in the form of racism and nation against nation and stirring the pot. And it's all types of wars on the, and, 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 and Israel just got bond and Iraqis going. Hey, man, that's why he cranking it up with the locusts. And that's why the natural disasters is happening. Man, because the great day of the Lord is at hand, man. And we really need to understand that thing and repent, man, and come back to the Lord, man. And all you people in religion who know that y'all not the children of Israel, man, listen, you're going to be, you might be preserved for the kingdom, but you're going to be in servitude. If you can accept that thing, hey, I always say this saying, me as a Hebrew, I say this saying. 
And that's supposedly with a chance of rulership. I say, I don't get, I don't care how I get into the kingdom. I just want to be there. <laughs> as a babe, man. Huh? Humble as a baby, man. I don't care what part of the body I play. Lord, just let me be a part. Because I want to be with the king, man. So what are we told to do, man? To do the commandments, man. To put on the full body of armor, man. You know, to try to put it all together in these last days is what God is calling us to do, man. To try to put it all together. Not just the faith without works, which is dead. Or the works without faith, which is dead. But to put it all on, man. The full body. Hey, man, be fully armored up, man. Hey, we just, hey. Ephesians 6 and chapter 10, verse Hey, hey, this is Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10 through 18. But we're going to start at 11, family. My goodness, man. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Stand up, y'all. The Lord asks, who shall stand up for me against the evildoers? Stand up, man. Put on the armor. Salaki, I'm yelling, man. Hold on. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers. See, the weapons of our war are not carnal, man. All right, man. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God, man, that ye may be able to withstand the evil in the evil day. And having done all to stand. Hey, man, do these commandments, man. Hey, man, having your loins girded about you, man. Keep the faith in Christ, man. Mm, having, okay. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about, about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints amen to love the most high God is to love his people man this is what we as saints, man, of God are, are, com are commanded, man, to do, man. To put on the full body of armor, man, so that we may be able to withstand in the evil day, man. Because the day is coming, man. The day is coming, man. <laughs> hey, man, the day is coming. Matthew 6 and 8. Hey, Matthew 6 and 33. Seek ye the kingdom and the righteousness of God, man. Y'all know that one. Everybody know that one, King. You know, and what he going to do, man, you know, we live in this thing, man. We being tried as Job, man, Job 23 and 10, man. Hey, we being tried like Job, man, Job 23 and 10, fam. We being tried like Job, man, but Job told us a jewel, man. What's this, Jonah? Man, let me get this thing. So lucky a family, Jonah. I'm right there, fam. Let me see, man. Because he told us. The most high knew, man. He said, man, listen, we're going to be tried, man. We're going to be tried, man. You understand me? You live in this life here. You live in this life here. You live in the black experience. <laughs> it's a trial by fire, man. It's a trial by fire going on down here, man. You know what I'm saying? Joe, man. Look that up, man. Job was tried, man, tested, man. But he said, I will come forth as gold, man. 
You know what I'm saying? Man? I got to get that, man. What is that, man? Job. I got to get that, man. Job. Because that that's the inspiration, man. I mean, we going through these things, but we living on a promise, man. It's not just for nothing, family. None of this stuff that we going through is just a coincidence or a big bang theory, family. Like, we really going through this thing. Look, I done lost it. We really going through this thing on a promise that we going to be saved, man. And that when we do what the Most High say, we going to unlock the kingdom within ourselves. Huh? Check out that Job chapter 23 and verse 10. I can't find it right now. Let me, let me go to the actual app. Go to the book. Let me get this book, man. I'm talking about I can't find it. I'm going off. Man. Let me take some lock, yeah. Job 23 and verse 10. Let me see. Okay. But he knoweth the way that I take. Okay. Because he, he, hey, listen, we devise our way, but the most high prepare the path, man. You know? Hey. He knoweth the way that I take. When he had tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Mm. Hey, man, when he get done with you, man, when he, listen, when the Lord, man, he going to make a new man out of you, man, and you going to be laced like the number one J, bro. You finna be out here ready yeah, you game time ready, King. All right, man. You warfare ready for the Lord, man. With the full body armor on, seeking the kingdom and the righteousness of God. My goodness. You being tried through this thing and you coming forth as gold to what? Man, let's go to Revelations 21, 21, man. Let's go to Revelations 21, 21, man. Look, I done lost, lost where it was at, y'all. So it's, 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 it's gone, man. 2121. We're going to get everything right, Lord willing, man. Computers coming. You know. We playing my joints in the background. Lord willing. Y'all willing. You know. But uh, we're going to deal with this, man. We, we work in progress, man. I, I thank y'all, man. You know, I thank y'all for uh, rocking with your boy, man. And like I said, at the end of the day, I just hope that this word, man is 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 uh fruitful for somebody man that this thing help and heal somebody and get somebody right you know humble as babes on this rumble man why because this is it man we want to be with the king man in the kingdom man watch this man and the 12 gates were 12 pearls every several gate was of one pearl and the street of the city was pure gold. Hey. <laughs> As it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein. For the Lord Yahweh Almighty. And the Lamb. Yahweh Shai. The Christ. The Lamb without blemish. Are the temple of it. Dang. And the city had no need for the sun. Hey, man, there ain't no sun, moon, and stars in the kingdom, bro. Neither of the moon to shine in it. For the glory of God did lighten it. And the lamb is the light thereof. There we go, man. That's the beauty of where we're trying to get to, man, with the king, man. Rulership, dominion over these nations, man. Rulership destruction of the wicked so we ain't got to worry about sin so the babies could play outside without being six years old and getting shot by a damn reprobate heathen y'all killing the babies without impunity man the most high is going to deal with y'all man but we need to do what we need to do to prepare ourselves for the great day so that we may enter in through the gates and receive our crowns of glory and rulership with the king man and, and doing these law, statutes, and commandments is not just about saving your life, bro. When you really get into this, it's really preparing you for rulership. To be a father of your household. Hey, what he say? You can't 
run my congregation if you can't even control your household? How can you run the house of the Lord if you can't even control your own households? You think the Lord going to bless you with rulership? All right. Make yourselves ready for the coming of the Lord, man. This is heavy exhortation, man. As babes, man, humble on the rumble to all the lions of Yasharala out there, man. To all my believers out there, man, continuously strive for the kingdom and the righteousness of God. May the most high keep all of you out there in power, strength, uh, and patience, perseverance in his law, statutes, and commandments. Hey, man. And with eyes open and hands ready to put in your brick and put your hand to the plow, man. We are the kingdom. The kingdom is in us, man. And when he puts us in our place, we going to be the fine gold that's going to lighten up them streets, man. Because as Job is tried, we going to come forth as gold and we going to be in the kingdom, man. Revelations 22. Hey, man, the streets going to be gold, baby. We going to be in the kingdom, baby. All you going to see is gold everywhere. Brothers and sisters, just 20, 20 folk K blinking on. Just all in your face, just blinking, blinking, man. I mean, brothers, just the light, man, letting the light shine everywhere, man. No man got to teach his brother. Everybody know the law, command, the law statutes, and commandments. I like it, man. I'm getting hyped up, man. This is what we're doing it for, man. And to do that thing, we got to be strong in faith, man, putting on a full body and humble as babes, man, because him that is as a child, man, he shall be called great in the kingdom, the greatest in the kingdom, man. So with that, man, this is your brother Mo, Yasharala Mo, Mo Yasharala. Either way it go, you know what it do. Kwam Yasharala. Call Hello, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, man. All praises be unto the most high God of Isaac, Abraham, Jacob, and his son, Jesus Christ, man. And with that, I say shalom, shalom.